Honestly, I am pretty blown away with today's shift. It's, uh, yeah, not something I would expect. Hello, hello, and hello guys. Welcome back to another episode of SG Eats Food Delivery Vlogs. If you're new around here, my name is SG Eats, and I film food delivery vlogs on uh, the local food delivery platforms, Grab, Food Panda, and Deliveroo. But we're mainly on Food Panda and Deliveroo, as uh, we haven't gone on Grab for quite some time. Today we're working a shift from 5 p.m. to I think 9:45 p.m. But because Food Panda allows you to go online 30 minutes before your shift, I have done so. We're just headed over to Okang Mall to try and wait for an order. Um, it actually rained this afternoon just after I got back from our delivery dash. Recently it's been uh, raining in the afternoon a lot but it will only last for maybe one maximum two hours. Oh, we got an order. So we're picking up from Long John Silvers and then we'll be delivering into Upper Serangoon Crescent which is nearby. So that's wonderful. Let's go get the order picked up. Alright, got the first order picked up and we're headed over to Upper Serangoon Crescent. It's one of the condominiums. Is uh, one of the better condos to deliver to, and the journey is 1.7 km. So we have about 1.2 km to go, and I'll see you guys once you reach. Very, very smooth ride over. Let's go get registered at the security counter first. Hello. Uh, going to block 14. Okay. Ah, Fupenda. Yeah, Fupenda. Mm. Thank you. Oh, very nice security guard to come over to me. <laughs> but you did hear him get a bit confused when I said I'm Food Panda but I'm wearing a delivery shirt. <laughs> okay, let's go get this dropped off. Hello. A normal now. Just need to take a photo. Okay. And thank you. Okay. So that is dropped off. We don't have another booking yet or an order yet. Oh, but I got no connection. Okay. We're getting one from Aukang Cape View, which is just around the corner, and dropping off in Compassville Bowl, which is somewhere in Singkang. So, can I screenshot that? Yes, I did. Okay, we'll head over to Texas Chicken. I'll see you guys there. Okay, just pulling up to Texas Chicken. And it says that the order is ready to be collected. Uh, 236, Food Panda. Thank you. Alright, we put the drink at the side. I'm not too sure if that's a good idea. I think I want to take out the drink and put it in the cup holder. So we have 1.4 km and uh, I'll see you guys when we reach. Alright, we have pulled up to our customers. It's another condo which is a little bit annoying. But then again, better than a condo that's insanely gigantic. Uh, Delivery, yeah? Yes, Food Panda. Can okay. you contact number? Which block? Uh? Block 115. Okay, I'll open the gate for you. Ah. Okay. You just walk down to block 115. Okay, I think he was asking me to go down the car park slope. That was kind of sketchy, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go through here instead and access the car park. Okay. Thank you. Alright, very nice resident to open the door for me. So, let's go get this dropped off. Order number 2 and the time now is 5.10pm.
Okay, getting another one. Which is picking up from Soup Spoon, Singtang Grand Mall, and dropping off at Upper Serangoon Crescent. Brilliant. I'll see you guys when we reach Soup Spoon, Singtang Grand Mall. Okay, here we are. Okay, brilliant. We have 1.9 km to go. We're headed back to the area of Texas Chicken. I'm actually very surprised that the number of orders we're getting is like better than Deliveroo as well. So I mainly do Deliveroo Dash because food vendor shifts, at least those available for me to take, are not exactly favorable from the time I reach home to <clears throat> the time that I want to start. It is fortunate that we are on annual leave. We're on leave until the end of this year. So what better way to spend our annual leave than to go out and do food deliveries and earn extra money. Let's go. We hit 33, going down that hill. Pretty sick. Let's uh, keep going. And I'll see you guys when we reach the customer. Wow, no signal. Come on, be of some use and open this gantry for me. Lovely. <laughs> I angled my camera down to check if it's recording at the perfect time. And I managed to capture the little boy saying bye to me. So cute. This is what? Order number three? Yep, order number three. And it's right here. Beautiful. Okay. Oh, I love it. Back to back orders. We are going to Aokang Mall to pick up some Thai food, I believe. And then we are going over to Aokang Avenue 4 to drop it off. Pretty good. The orders, surprisingly, for a weekday, are coming in back to back and it's a Tuesday today. So I'm pretty surprised by that. But it's a good thing. See you guys at Aokang Mall then. Alright guys, we have two pieces of bad news. Bad news number one is this order was delayed for like 5 minutes. It took forever to prepare it. And bad news number two is that it has started raining pretty heavily. Once we get back to our bike, I'll show you. You'll be able to see the rain actually. Well, I always have a rain coat in my bag. And it's really for occasions like this. Let's see how bad the rain is. Okay. Yep, it is not a light drizzle. This is pretty much a downpour. Luckily for us, I saw the rain coming in. So I parked under shelter. Let's just put on our raincoat first. Okay, the good thing is that we only have 1.6 km to travel. So, that should work in our favor. We've uh, put our phone in a waterproof casing. See you guys when we reach the customer. Alright guys, we got another order. And the rain is pretty heavy as you can see. Okay, I think this is the right shop. Uh, San Lu, uh, Yao. Mm, thank you. Okay, so we got that order picked up. And we have about 6 minutes to reach the customer. And uh, that's about 1.5 km. The rain does seem to have lightened up into a heavier sort of drizzle. But 
I'll keep my equipment safe and uh, I'll bring you guys back when we reach. So I'll see you all in a bit. Okay, we have arrived. The rain has more or less stopped. But uh, I'm still going to keep my rain jacket on for now. And these floors are super slippery. As are my shoes. And one thing bad about wearing this balaclava is that when it gets wet, you can hardly breathe. So I had to pull down the balaclava to pull it below my nose so that I got a air airway to breathe. If not, I will be dying. This is order number five. Uh -huh. Feels like we've been working for pretty long, even though it's been like only two hours. It's 6.24 coming 6.30. And uh, five orders in two hours, that is pretty normal, I guess. So that is about three orders per hour. Okay, a little less than the average. But I think for weekday evening, that's pretty good already. Okay, we are here. Okay. The receipt is inside the bag. I checked when... I picked up the order. Uh, because my hands are wet and all, I'm not gonna bother, like, you know, making it visible. Okay, getting another order here. Picking up from Pizza Hut at Bangkok Square and dropping off at Bangkok Crescent. Order number six is in. And we've gotten it before 6 30. So we are hitting the average of three orders per hour, I guess. And yeah, let's keep pushing on. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys at Pizza Hut. All right. We are walking over to Pizza Hut and I just got a notification that the order is ready for collection. Ooh, one thing about working in the rain is when you enter the mall, it's incredibly cold. 3139. Huh, this is new. Okay. Thank you. Okay, that is new for me at least. They had us um, fill out a Google form. So you enter your name, you choose which platform you're using, you key in your order number, and then you will indicate that you picked up the order. Actually, it's like a order complete question mark, and then you put yes. Hmm, very interesting. Actually, that I would prefer that over having to sign a manual form. Yeah, that's a great idea actually. Okay. So the customer is actually very very near to us. It's actually six hundred and fifty meters away. That is pretty good. Let's get on the road. And I'm going to try and continue filming. Maybe, fingers crossed, we don't damage any equipment. But we should be good. We are on a very short journey. With just 500 meters to go. And for that short distance, I'm pretty sure it was paying out like six plus dollars. Let me check real quick for you guys. Yeah, 620. So that's pretty good if you ask me. Okay. We are getting another one paying 670. We're collecting from Bangkok Square again, but we have to travel all the way to Serangoon North. I'm just gonna do it. It's an order. It still is paying me out money. So, yeah, I'll see you guys back at Bangkok Square to pick up San Huang Ki Wuhan Beef Noodle. Mm, Thank you. Okay, we're here at Bangkok Square. 
Oh, me. I press arrive at the customer when I haven't arrived yet. Okay, never mind. We have 2.5 km to go. We do have soup in this order. So, I want to be sure to secure it well. For now, I think it looks okay. Let me just see if I can redo the packaging to make it more secure. Okay, never mind. The soup appears to be sealed pretty tightly. Okay, I'm just going to put it in the center of the bag and tie a tight knot. And then we're going to hook it here and wedge our rain jacket around it. And that should do the trick. We managed to make it all the way to Serangoon North. I have a lovely relationship with Serangoon North. It's actually not as bad as Serangoon itself, but it's still a pretty interesting place to navigate and to like pick up orders and drop off orders. Um, but if you ask me to choose between Serangoon and Serangoon North, um, I think I would take Serangoon North simply because uh, it's closer to home. <laughs> Hey. I want the customer to take the food as soon as possible because it's in a pretty precarious sort of like angle. Okay, we're getting another one. We are taking from Bangkok Square. No, we are taking from Aukang One Watsons and dropping off in Bangkok View. Oh my god, Institute of Mental Health, we're going into IMH. Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna accept it and well, we're gonna hope for the best. Uh, Panda 1514. Thank you. This may be the scariest delivery of all. And uh, no disrespect to people with medical conditions, but I think we all cannot deny that it is a little bit scary to be heading into IMH. But well, let's see how it goes. Tiny, tiny Watson's order. And we have about 1.7 km. So I'm going to bring you guys back once I reach. So see you on a bit. Oh, and shout out to the fellow Comex rider. Woohoo! Alright, I'm going to follow the GPS. And uh, yeah, this I think is going to prove to be pretty interesting. This whole area is pretty quiet with very minimal traffic. Huh. Okay, we are going to block 6. So let's look out for that. Okay, should be the block right ahead of us. I am really not sure if I'm even allowed to enter. We shall see. Wow. I have never been here before. Alright, I'm gonna park to the side. This is block six. Okay.
Food Panda? Okay. I just need to take a picture. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. We're getting yet another order, which I'll show you guys. But wow, I think it's safe to say that this has to be one of the most unique. Is it unique? I don't know. Oh my god. I'm, I'm still a little bit lost for words. Because, yeah, this is just a place I've never, I never thought I would be delivering to. And, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's an institute to help people with legit conditions. I'll be lying if I said my heart wasn't, you know, racing a little faster than usual. But wow. All right. Let's head over to Arnold's Fried Chicken at uh, Aukang Green. And uh, I'll see you guys when I reach. Ciao. Pulling up to Arnold's once again. We have been picking up from here quite a few times already. Uh, but no, I didn't have Arnold's for lunch this time. <laughs> okay, let's go see if our order is ready. 2289. Thank you. Damn, I'm honestly very surprised at how good the orders are on Food Panda this Tuesday evening. Um, it's definitely something I wouldn't expect to have orders coming in so quickly and back-to-back uh, -back orders. I don't think we had much waiting time, if any, today. So, that is pretty wonderful. Alright, we're back on the road and I'm going to see you guys when we reach our customer. Ciao! Oh yeah, and one more thing I wanted to mention. You know how I have the thumbprint lock that I use to secure my bike? I realise the thumbprint lock may not be the best to use in the rain because when it's raining, it cannot read your thumbprint properly. So yeah. Thank you. Very kind residents to hold the lift for me. Okay, let's go drop off this order. I have to say, every time I pick up an Arnold's order, damn, it smells so good. It's a pretty big order that I don't want to hang on the gate, so I'll rather hand it to the customer. Hello! Thank you. Bye-bye! Thank you, bye-bye! Okay... Oh, oh no! <laughs> We've gotten a new order But the reason why I was like, oh no! It is because it's sending us into Sengkang Which is not exactly what we want but we'll do it anyways. We're going back to the same Pizza Hut. And I'll see you guys there. <laughs> Food Panda app says we'll be ready in 10 minutes. Let's go and check. I got 3142. Okay. Lady says it'll take a while. So I'll bring you guys back when I pick up the order. Thank you. <laughs> so I wanted to ask the staff how long they had implemented this uh, scanning instead of signing and she said she didn't know because she has only been working here for three weeks. No harm. I think she is uh, pretty good. She helps to look out for orders and gets it done pretty quick. Okay. So, we have to go into Sengkang as I mentioned and we are going to take the park connector because it's a more direct route. If I had to take the road, let me just check, it will be double the distance. So, taking the road is 4.2km and taking the park connector is 2.4km. So, that's what we're going to do. 
this is actually a pretty big order. So I want to situa situate it nicely. We'll stuff our green jacket to the side and we'll tie up this big bag of pizzas. Looks good. All right, we are ready to rumble. Hello, guys. Oh, shit. We are pretty deep into uh, Sengkang. We're at Friendville. We just pulled up to our uh, customer's block. And I believe this is um, maybe one, one and a half kilometers away from Sarita Mall. All good though. Our Comex has a pretty big battery. I am not concerned at all. And our pizza looks to be in good shape as well. Okay, let's go get this dropped off. Ooh. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. We have an order that is picking up from nearby and sending us right back from where we came from, which is at Bangkok. And I was going to comment, I found it a little amusing how I held the bag in a way where the handle was easily available for the lady to grab, but she decides to like grab the side, you know, so that was just a little bit amusing. We need to head over to 455 Singkang West Avenue to pick up some huff and puff. I have no idea what it is, but I'm guessing it's pastries. So I'm going to see you guys once I reach. Ciao. Okay, we are here. Got a whole bunch of modified e-scooters and e-bikes. Let's see if our order is ready or not. Yao Jiu Si Ba. Alright, we had five seconds of rest time to sit on a chair. And let's see where we're going. As I mentioned earlier, it's bringing us right back to where we came from. Huh. There are quite a few routes for me to take. Let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the park connector again. Seems to be the smoothest and most direct. So that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna catch you guys once I reach. See you in a bit. Alright. We have just hopped off the... We just hopped off the park connector. And... Oop, beautiful. We're gonna deliver the huff and puff order. Thankfully, I'm no longer on my road bike, so I won't be huffing and puffing. <laughs> I'm so lame. But alright, let's go get this dropped off. Okay, the time now is 8.18, so that means we have about 1 hour and 25 more minutes to go. 1 hour 27 if you want to be particular. And we are dropping off order number 11. That, I would say, is pretty good. Let go, let go, let go. Hello, Fupenda. Okay, thank you. Alright. Order number 11 is dropped off. And surprisingly, we don't have another delivery coming in. We are now in the Bangkok area. Let's see if we have any hot spots around us. Okay, there's a hot spot at Aukang Green. And then another hot spot at Aukang Avenue 8. So I think I'll head back towards the Aukang Central area and we'll see what type of orders we get. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alrighty, hello guys. Lucky us, we have another order. I think this is order number 12.
and we are picking up from Yashiro Fusion Bowl. We are dropping off at Aukang Avenue 8, which is just around the corner. Let's go see if our order is ready. Thank you. Brilliant. And we only have 2.2 km to go. Avenue 8 is pretty near. Ah, okay. But the block is situated in a, how to say, weird location where you have to go a slightly bigger round to access the car park. No worries. We're happy to get orders. At least that's how I feel. Okay. We're gonna jump back on the road and I'm gonna see you guys when we're dropping this order off. Okay guys, we are pulling up. We have 600 meters more to go. And actually, I wanted to give a shout out to ABS, All Bicycle Shop, that is along this Avenue 8. I'm gonna point them out when I pass by them. Um, I've been to the shop like three, four times. Uh, to service the e-bike, I got this Comex front and rear brake swapped out. And then I will be also getting my Mido Pro. I'll service the brakes as well. And I'm just turning my chest, you see those lights? That is ABS, All Bicycle Shop. And it's run by a gentleman named Joshua. And uh, yeah, I like that the shop is near me, near to my home. And I like that the service is pretty fast, pretty efficient. And they have very friendly, Joshua in particular is pretty friendly. Um, yeah, so if you live around my area, Aukang, you can consider going to ABS or Bicycle Shop to get your e-bike or bicycle service. I wouldn't say I'm an expert in bicycle servicing, but I do like their service and uh, you know, the work that they do is pretty good. Hello, Kukanda. Thank you. Thank you. Alrighty. Oh, damn. We've got another one. Brilliant. We are going to take from Aukang Avenue Nate. Aukang Avenue 8 McDonald's and we're gonna drop it off at Aukang Dew Court, Aukang Street 32. Yeah, I know where it is. So, how am I gonna judge if doing Food Panda is profitable versus doing Deliveroo? I'm gonna look at our total pay per hour and we'll do that at the end of this video. For now, I'll see you guys when we reach Aukang Avenue 8 McDonald's. Yeah. Picked up the McDonald's order and we are going to Aukang Street 32 which is um, more or less on the other side of Aukang borderline I would say going to Tampanese Road is it old Tampanese Road? I think so alright so we're back on the road and the time now is 8.52 so we have about 50 plus minutes to the end of this shift I have to say, although we may not be doing a lot of orders, I thoroughly enjoy being busy. And even though we got some delivery distances of like above 3km, you know that's okay. As I mentioned, I'm going to judge the profitability of doing food deliveries on a weekday evening. Um, be it Food Panda, Deliveroo, Grab. I'm going to see our pay per hour and if it's hitting like 15, 14 per hour, I'm pretty happy, I'm pretty okay and I'll be pretty happy with that. But I have to say, this shift, we were busy for like 95% of the time. We were constantly working, we weren't waiting around. So I'm definitely for that type of like tempo and pace. Whereas I don't really like it if on Deliveroo and maybe Grab, we have our waiting time and you know, it always feels so uncertain if you're going to get an order or not. 
So yeah, that's just how I feel working this shift so far. And I'll catch you guys once we reach our customer. So I'll see you all in a bit. Alright guys, we are pulling up to our customer. I'd say it has been a very, very peaceful evening of deliveries, which I can always appreciate. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Damn, the orders do not stop coming. We're gonna pick up from just downstairs, porridge, and we are going back towards Apang Avenue 10, which is basically Alpang Mall area. And I think there was a two dollar tip in this order. So thank you so much. Let's get going. I'll see you guys when we are picking up the order. Thank you. All right, guys. We picked up the porridge order. It was delayed for a few minutes, but I think that's okay. We have two point two km to go towards Apang Avenue Ten. And yeah, the time now is nine thirteen, and we're working to nine forty five. So I think we may be able to squeeze one. Maybe, maybe two orders in. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Lego, Lego, Lego. See you guys at the customer's place. Uh, oh, mad skills. <laughs> Weird ass grown, but mad skills to get through that. Alright. What an enjoyable shift it has been. We have a long walk ahead of us. Hello. Thank you. We now need to go to Amigos at Avenue 8, pick up some Western, and then we need to drop it off at Bongkok Crescent. <laughs> Why? I'm ending my shift soon, and you gotta throw me all the way into Bongkok. Alright, no worries. We're gonna do it. See you guys in a bit. Very nice. It is ready and we have 2.3 km to go and drop this off. As mentioned, we're heading back into Bangkok. Not ideal because uh, we're ending our shift soon. But we are on 47 volts for our battery. Definitely still enough to carry on and even bring us home. I'll catch you guys once I reach my customer. Ooh, I, I wanted to say mad skills but nope. The gantry got my sight mirror. Western looks good. Come on, where's the hole? <clears throat> Excuse me. I have no idea why I laughed. I'm an innocent person. Seriously though. Okay, found it. <laughs> All right, arrive that customer. Oh no, do we have another long walk all the way to the end? Guess we do. Oh, I'm wrong. It's right here. Hello. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woohoo! So, we are done with today's shift and I am going to briefly run through our orders as we head down and I'm going to put up the screen recording as well. So today, 19 December, 15 deliveries completed. We had $89.42 in base earnings and a $2 tip. 
and then we were online for five hours and six minutes and the average income per hour is $17.93 so is it worth it or not yes we are earning at least two to three dollars above what delivery pays us damn what I'm thinking now is let's say I want to commit to doing Food Panda as my main platform even on weekday evenings that would mean that I have to work like 8 to 12 a.m. 8 p.m. to 12 p.m. a.m. sorry and like mm, I don't know do I want to sacrifice the sleep the rest time because you know I will have a full-time job maybe we can sacrifice some rest time or some sleep and uh, commit ourselves to do like four hours till midnight on Food Panda. Maybe that's the way to go. I'm really not sure. Uh, but, um, you know, it was a brilliant shift today. Uh, maybe it's because of the rain that the orders were coming in, you know, better. I don't, I don't know. I'm really not sure. But we had consistent back-to-back -back orders with minimal wait time. I think the maximum I waited was, what, three to five minutes? And an order came in already. So, with the amount of time we spent online, which is five hours, six minutes, we completed 15 orders, which is hitting the weekend average, weekend average of three orders per hour. Honestly, I am pretty blown away with today's shift. It's, uh, yeah. Not something I would expect. I'm really happy with today's shift. I really enjoyed myself. I think the rain, uh, I don't know. Strangely enough, I enjoy riding in the rain now. Uh, I know that we should keep ourselves safe when we're doing deliveries. But hey, when every time it rains, the orders are great, the earnings are great. And I don't know, I just enjoy myself a lot. So, we're on the way home. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you feel that I should commit myself to doing Food Panda on a weekday evening, let me know. Throw me a comment down below and uh, give me a couple of reasons, maybe one or two reasons why I should. I know that there may be some full-time riders that watch my channel and if you have feedback, you're going to let me know how, you know, what I should expect on a weekday evening. Is it always 15 orders within 5 hours? Is it really this good? Let me know. I'm always uh, eager to find out more. So yeah, we had a blast. I had a blast. Thank you for following along. If you like what you watched today, tell me to like this video. If you think your friends would enjoy this content as well, share this video. And if you want to support me, the best way to do so, absolutely free, smash that subscribe button. But for now, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.